the biggest snake that ever lived. In the world where you feel safe as an apex predator and literal king of the earth, once upon a time, there was a beast that could give any human a severe case of herpetophobia. I, of course, mean the one and only Titanoboa, the biggest and most terrific snake that ever crawled the earth. This enormous monster lived very long ago, and its bones were hidden from us for millions of years. Humankind learned about the existence of magnificent Titanoboa only less than 20 years ago. The discovery of Titanoboa shows that we only scrape the surface of all the mysteries our planet hides from us, and maybe even more incredible ancient creatures wait in the ground to be revealed to humans. With that being said, let's focus today on one of the most interesting and amazing scientific discoveries of the 21st century, the Grand Snake Titanoboa. Let's take a better look at Titanoboa. So, Titanoboa serenjonesis was one of a kind members of a monotypic taxon, which means that it was the only species in its extinct genus. Well, it's quite okay that Titanoboa is extinct because can you imagine living in the world near that thing? That fantastic time when Titanoboa was still a thing was during the Paleocene Epoch. The first fossils of the giant snake were found in South Africa at the beginning of the 2000s. One day, a Colombian student found remains of the ancient rainforest in the cave. He didn't know that he discovered a place that probably was the first rainforest on Earth. When scientists found out about this cave, they started digging and brought dozens of amazing findings back to light. Among the fossils of crocodiles, gigantic turtles, and various ancestors of plants like bananas and avocados, archaeologists discovered the remains of a gigantic ancient snake. They were shocked by the size of Titanoboa's remains, but it wasn't the end of the story. In 2009, a group of specialists who conducted archaeological excavations in Colombia found the fossils of 28 gigantic snakes in that same Serenjon formation. Those remains of Titanoboa showed how huge the snakes really were and helped take a little peek into their long-forgotten world. Scientists ascertained that Titanoboa lived around 60 to 58 million years ago in a warm and pleasant climate of ancient rainforest right after the dinosaurs went extinct. It evolved to become an apex predator and the terror of the land, or more accurate to say, swamp. Gigantic threat among the evergreens. The massive snake was really ginormous. Paleontologists believe that she could weigh more than 1.1 US ton, one ton, and be up to 42.6 feet, 13 meters long. And these figures are just for the average Titanoboa. By contrast, the modern relative of this snake, the mighty anaconda, the biggest snake that lives today, rarely hits 16.4 feet, 5 meters in length, and it weighs about 66 to 154 pounds, 30 to 70 kilos on average. But in Anaconda's defense, you may say that even though it's much smaller than the smallest of Titanoboas, it's still alive, unlike the not-so-gentle giant. But it would be rude to say that. As for the appearance, Titanoboa look very much like modern pythons, with dark green or brownish scales that resemble camouflage. We know for sure that it had scales because they were found with the fossils. However, as for the color, here we can only guess for now. Another interesting feature of Titanoboa was its very massive head. It was probably more than 3.3 feet, 1 meter in diameter, and together with massive fangs in the snake's mouth, probably created a very scary picture to look at. The secret of Titanoboa's impressive size is in its habitat, the warm and welcoming rainforest. It's a snake, right? And all the snakes are cold-blooded animals. So their life, growth, and overall well-being are tightly connected with the environment these creatures live in. And oh, it was amazing. The magical life in the ancient swamp. Like our lovely friend Shrek, Titanoboa thrived in a picturesque swamp. The warmth of the Paleocene and the exceptional conditions of the ancient swamp created the optimal living situation for all cold-blooded animals who were lucky enough to be alive during that period. 
Titanoboa was not the only species that used those excellent conditions on its behalf. Ancient ancestors of other reptiles were gigantic too. For example, the fossils of one turtle found in the Serahon formation were bigger than a dining table. I wonder how fast it was. In general, everything about that time was majestic for reptiles, and I think Titanoboas loved living in that ancient rainforest. Tropical climate, not too many enemies, and abundance of food. What more could a giant snake want? The Marvelous World of Titanoboa's Diet I would love to learn that the scary Titanoboa was a deadly and venomous snake, but the truth was much more trivial. Titanoboa was just like its modern siblings, boas and anacondas, so allegedly it killed the prey by choking it. The other theory also says that those snakes could jump out of the water to attack the target, but scientists are not so sure about that. Titanoboa had a very wide mouth, but it's most likely that Titanoboa's prey was relatively small. It lived in a swamp and ate a lot of fish, birds, and even small mammals. There's a theory that Titanoboa ate crocodiles, but it's likely untrue because this snake wasn't too aggressive. It's more possible that Titanoboas were crocodiles' prey, not vice versa. Why do we live in a world without Titanoboa? That's a great question. We can be grateful for this fact, but I believe many of us can't help but wonder what exactly caused the extinction of these horrible but fascinating snakes. As I mentioned at the beginning, we only learned about Titanoboa two decades ago, and it's just impossible to uncover all the secrets of these species in such a short time. However, science always goes forward, and now we have a decent theory on the subject. So, according to this theory, Titanoboas became extinct due to the dramatic climate change at the end of the Paleocene. Tropical forests became not so tropical, and cold-blooded snakes couldn't do anything with this new colder world. The very size of Titanoboa was the last nail in its coffin, and while smaller snakes survived the climate change, our lovely monster has sadly gone with the tropical wind. Who would fight the monstrous Titanoboa? Titanoboa was one of the biggest animals on the planet at that time, but even such horrible monsters had a couple of annoying neighbors. Mammals and birds were too small at that time, so they weren't a huge threat to our lovely beast. However, we can't say the same about other huge reptiles. Crocodiles were allegedly a real pain in the heads of Titanoboas. The average member of the Crocodilomorpha group that inhabited one place with Titanoboas could be as long as our lovely snake, up to 39 feet, 12 meters. Some of them could run, and with those big teeth, it's very possible that ancient crocodiles ate Titanoboas on a daily basis. Another big problem for Titanoboas were those gigantic Carbonemus turtles that were also predators, and they coexisted in one ecosystem with Titanoboas. We have some evidence that these turtles with very strong jaws ate crocodilians, so it's very possible that they also sometimes attacked Titanoboas. An extra protected turtle with a very strong bite could easily hurt and kill our lovely snake, so I think Titanoboas tried to avoid meeting with those crazy guys. Nowadays, we witness a massive climate change caused by humans, and more and more animals suffer from it. But as we know now, reptiles love warmth, so one day we may see how anacondas evolved into new Titanoboas even bigger and better from the previous. What do you think about that? I would really appreciate it if you would subscribe to my channel, and I also recommend you to hit the bell button, so you'll receive notifications every time I upload a new video. Thank you very much.